So this is how the, the teapot turned out that I bought from Goodwill. I painted it white first, and then I painted on the black Harlequins, and then I added the gold metallic uh, paint pen. And I think it turned out really cute, and it was so fun to do. So this is me shopping for this little teapot at Goodwill. I'm sorry I didn't get better pictures of the before, but here it was before. Okay, this is a teapot that I got at Goodwill, and I've painted it, chalk painted it white, and here's the top. It has a little top and everything. So it's all painted. And then I wanted to do a Harlequin type thing on it. Oh, I've still got to finish. So what I did, what I've done so far is I did, so I, I followed the middle of this handle and I put a dot, as you can see, I put a dot right there. And then I did the same thing over here, the middle of the spout, I put a dot and then I put a dot halfway between those two over here and then over here. And then from there, I did another dot directly beneath and then I tried to split the difference around the middle of the pot and put two more dots. And then I just connected the dots into this Harlequin. It's a big fat one. And then I did the same thing with the dots and then I got all the way to here and then I thought I'd show you what I do. And I, I just eyeball it. I'm, as you see that my line didn't quite match up with this one. So I may not be exactly even on that, but it just seemed too steep to put it where that dot was. So I made my new dot here. And so then I just kind of look at it and connect them. And it works out pretty well. I actually looked for a stencil of a Harlequin at Hobby Lobby, but they didn't have such a thing. And then I could have made one out of a piece of paper and then just like held it on here and traced it, but that seemed like a lot. So that's where we're at right now. And now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the inside of the Harlequin black and then I don't know what I'll do from then on. So. So I'm not very good at voiceovers, but I'll try. So um, what I have here is just a, a black chalk paint. And I think it's the, the ink, the Waverly ink chalk paint that we get, that I get at uh, Walmart. And, and a good brush with a flat edge. It turns out that this paint was a little dry, so I ended up adding some water on my palette, and then I just got my brush wet and dipped it again, and it worked so much better. But this is the part that I love best about, about painting, is just getting into the zone and just like following the lines. It's so relaxing. There's just really nothing more relaxing to me than to to sit and do things like this because you really don't have to think about it. You're just following a line and filling in. So as you can see my craft room is still a giant mess with everything everywhere. I still need to come up with a plan of what I'm gonna do with all my stuff because I love my stuff. I love my junk because I like to just go looking through my stuff and then using it. Okay, so here you can see the black is all all on and now I've got my Sharpie uh, metallic gold pen and I'm just adding a few things so this th was the really fun part because it was really fun to add the gold just really seemed to bring it all together I thought 
I really enjoy doing the little dots in between the little points where the little Harlequin come together. And is it Harlequin or Harlequins? Is it is plural with an S? I don't know. Um, the little big fat triangles. So I ended up doing it on the top and the bottom and then a dot between each point. And then I tried this, um, whatever, well, I've put it back down now. There it is. That little bottle of gold paint I had and I tried it too, just to see if I liked it better. And I liked the shape of that little wooden skewer. That was nice. But... I think I ended up going over it with the pen because I liked the color better. And so here I'm doing my whole north, south, east, west trick where I put the dots on. And then, okay, so I'm just going to draw a line down from each of my dots. And then I'm going to split the difference between each of those lines and go down the middle of those lines. And then I have all my stripes. Okay, so now we're just going to do every other one. I think I have to switch to a smaller brush. Yep. And this part was fun. Just had to figure out how, much, how far I wanted to come up. I end up, I should have probably left it right there, but I ended up trying to bring it up just a little further. You know how that goes. You start trying to fix something and then it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And we just have more stripes to paint. This was really a very fun little thing to do. And so now I'm like wanting to buy all the little teapots and just make different patterns on all of them. I've kind of gotten a little a little black and white crazy. But it's been fun. It's been a fun thing. So I'm going to be having another baby shower uh, for my other daughter-in-law. And uh, let's see, what is, it's April now, and I have to do that, I think, in probably June. So that's going to be fun. Well, I'm going to do it, I'm going to hope, hopefully her mom's going to be able to be here for that. So I'm, I need to figure out her schedule and see when she's going to be here so she can be here for the shower, too. And hers is going to be a woodland, woodland forest themed, which is also one of my favorite things. So I've, I've just only begun to start thinking about what I'm going to do for that. So I'm looking forward to that a lot too. Okay, so you can see that I was starting to make a little bit of a mess on the top of that, but I covered it all up as you see. Um, well, I'll show it to you when I turn it. But I painted the little knob on the very top of the teapot with the gold metallic and well you can see where I edged all the gold and it's not perfect there are a few little places that could be touched up I could go back in with the black or the white or the gold and clean up anything that I don't like but I just think it turned out so cute and whimsical and it's just a happy little teapot I just stuck those berries right in the spout I don't know if I like it better with the berries in the spout or not. What do you guys think? There's my little bunny back there. I love bunnies. and This was just the most fun little project and I appreciate you coming along with me while, while I did it. And please come back and subscribe and like if you liked this video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.